everyone, welcome back to The Current, the quick response news program from Jockey Club to eCollege. Where we report on the latest issues, events, and culture. I'm Henry. And I'm Joy. Hey everybody, did you see that video of a huge group of smuggling boats racing against the police? Dozens of smuggling boats were seen racing from the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge a couple weeks ago, smuggling cargo, electronic components, high-end cosmetics, and even frozen seafood and meat. Police chased them as they raced to exchange goods on fishing boats near Tun Moon and Sha Chao. Sadly, a policewoman was killed when her police boat flipped during the chase. This infuriated everyone, and police redoubled their efforts to successfully arrest 365 people involved in the smuggling. They even seized 39 of the expensive smuggler speedboats that were hidden on Lantau Island. But many more surely got away. That's insane! There were so many of them, it's like they knew the police couldn't catch them all, so why not take a risk? The risk, of course, is being thrown in jail, because that was definitely illegal. Which is sad. You have to be really desperate to risk your life like that. But that's just risking a risk. What do you think, Henry? Would you risk your life for money? Ah, uh, now you're talking about Squid Game. Squid Game is the South Korean survival drama television series that is now the number one most watched Netflix series ever. Indeed, it had more than 142 million views in its first four weeks and was the number one show in well over 90 countries around the world. Yep, but remember, Squid Game is only for viewers 15 years and above. You junior form students, don't watch Squid Game. But they all know the storyline. Or do they? Let's check and see if students know Squid Game and what it's about. Yeah, sure. I didn't watch the bloody parts. I just watched the main scenes. No, I haven't seen it, but my friends recommended for me to watch it. No. My dad said it wasn't so good for me. Yeah, I watched it. Of course. No, I haven't heard of any Squid Game. I'm no, I'm too young. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Squid Game is about some uh, poor people who joined the, the game. That were six children games. And uh, the winner can walk away with uh, like a lot of million wands. But if you, you lose, then you get eliminated. That means you're killed. A death game where people who like to gamble uh, go into a center where they all uh, battle each other for money and games. It is a game that the poor people will go inside and win money, but you may die. I actually wouldn't play a good game on my own. I don't need the money, my family's fine. It's too bloody for me. Yeah, maybe. But for the money? No, because the risk is too high and it is hard for me to win the money. No, I will never do that. No way, no way. I'm so afraid of death. Maybe. Of course, Squid Game isn't real, but when you put that store concept next to the smuggling incidents, you have to wonder what people are willing to do to get something in real life. Right. How much of a risk are you willing to take in your life to get what you want? <laughs> risk can be good, of course, but it quite often implies the potential of harm or danger. That harm might just be the sting of defeat or the humiliation of failure. But if you never try something, risk it, then you might not ever succeed. So, life is full of degrees of risk. Some good and worth taking, others not so much. Here we go! I wonder if we have any real risk takers in our school. Do you mean students willing to maybe cheat and break the rules? No, 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 not bad risk. Just willing to take other kinds of risks that can benefit them if they prove successful. Even seize the moment has risk, right? True. To find out, we took a bunch of students and gave them a quiz to examine what kind of risk taker they are. Let's go to Justin to see what the students said. Thanks, Henry and Joy. Before we begin, let's ask each student a couple of background questions. Have you ever taken a big risk in your life? Not really. I have always been making good choices in my life. Yes, one time I gave my stuffed animal to my friend, but she never gave it back to me. No, I've never taken a risk. No. Maybe. I think, I think so. Yes, I cheated in a test in primary school, but I didn't get caught. <laughs> no. Would you drive a smuggler boat and race the police? I wouldn't risk it. I'm not a criminal. No, I would never do that. Yes, if I'm a cool guy. No, I don't think so. If there's a chance I get caught, no way. Yeah, I might do it because if I'm good enough, I wouldn't get caught. No, that's illegal. Have you ever gambled for money? I've never gambled for money. No, I'm too young to do that. I had a bet with my friends, and who scores a higher mark in the test, they get to pay me for a meal, or I pay them. 
It was around two hundred dollars. No, I've never gambled before. No. Yes, I gamble. I pay mahjong for money. No. Yeah, baby, mahjong. Now let's start our quiz. We'll ask each student ten questions and score them based on how risky each answer is. In the end, we'll share what level risk taker students are and see if they agree. What do you do in your free time? Ride roller coasters? Go climbing? Go hiking? Play video games? Read books? I play video games. I normally read books when I'm bored. I play video games. Play video games. Play video games. I play video games. I play video games a lot. Go hiking. Would you ever go skydiving? I've already done it. It is on my to-do list. Only with my best friend. Only with good instruction. No way. Only with my best friend. No, it's too dangerous, and I don't really like uh, high places. Only with my best friend. It is on my to-do list. It is on my to-do list. No way. I would do it only with my best friend. It is on my to-do list. Which is your favorite animal? Tiger, bear, eagle, dog, or mouse? I like tiger the best. I pick the dog. They're very playful. I think it would be the mouse. Mouse. Dog. Dog. Dog, of course. Dog for sure. How many times have you been in a fight? Many times. Some, but not many. Three to four times in my life. Once. Never. Some, but not many. But physical. No. Some, but not many. Yeah, physical. <laughs> But that was in primary school. No, nope, never. No, never physical. Once in primary school, I fought with my classmate. He hit me. I do taekwondo, but never a real fight. Never. Later, I want to be a soldier, a wild animal trainer, diving instructor, a teacher, a baker. I want to be a wild animal trainer. I want to be a baker because it's the most peaceful one, I think, from my choices. I think I would want to be a baker. A baker. Wild animal trainer. I would like to choose. A soldier. Wild animal trainer. Wild animal trainer. What is your favorite sport? Boxing, football, baseball, tennis, or golf? I like football. Maybe golf because it's an activity I can play with my friends. I think I would prefer boxing. Tennis. Tennis. Boxing. Of those, I would choose boxing. Tennis. What is your favorite movie? Squid Game, Fast and the Furious, Pirates of the Caribbean, Disney's Cars 3, Frozen. I like Squid Game. Maybe Frozen? I would prefer Frozen. Pirates of the Caribbean. Squid Game. I know I'm too young, but it was cool. Frozen. I like Squid Game the best. Frozen. Pick a video game. Resident Evil, Call of Duty, GTA, Sim City, Sims 4. I want to play Call of Duty. Resident Evil because uh, I like watching creepy stuff. I would pick Resident Evil. Call of Duty. Sim City. GTA. 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 How would you spend $1,000? A trip to Macau, go to Ocean Park, go out for a nice meal. I'd save all of it. I have to ask my mother. I will save it. I'd save it up later for me to spend. I would save it all. I'll save it. I will save all of it. I would ask my mom. I would save all of it. I save all of it. Would you risk getting kicked out of school for a full ride to a university in Hong Kong? Definitely yes. I'd think about it seriously. Maybe, but most likely not. Definitely not. Nah, not really. No, never. Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. Most likely not. I think about it seriously. Most likely not. No, definitely not. You are a level 4 risk taker, meaning you are a risk taker. You love to be part of every adventure, but you know when things become too risky. Is that a good description of you? Yeah, I'm kind of a risky boy when I do stuff too risky. You are a level 1 risk taker, meaning you play it safe. You love to be safe. The simple things in life will make you happy. Gambling is not your thing, but therefore, you don't have to worry about so many things. Is this accurate? Yes, that's pretty accurate. You are a level 2 risk taker, meaning safety is your strength. Security is good for you, but sometimes a little bit of risk is okay too. Does this sound about right? I think it is pretty much true about me. You're another level 2 risk taker, meaning safety is your strength. Do you think this is you? Yeah, that's true. I'm mostly a safe person. You are a level 3 risk taker, meaning safety is important, but you take risks. Sometimes you seek adventure, but you remember that it is good to be cautious in risky situations. Do you think that is accurate? Yes, I think it is quite accurate. You are another level 3 risk taker, meaning safety is important, but you take risks. Does it sound like you? Yes, that's pretty accurate. You are another level 3 risk taker, meaning safety is important, but you take risks. Do you agree with this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about right. I like taking risks, but it's good to be safe. You're another level 2 risk taker, meaning safety is your strength. 
Is this accurate? Yes, that's correct. Back to you, Henry and Joy. Thanks, Justin. That was quite interesting. I wonder why so many people chose the tiny little mouse as their favorite animal. They're cute! Who wouldn't like a mouse? But the tiger, man, that's such a powerful and dangerous animal. So cool! That's the animal for me. Sure, sure, right, Henry. Anyhow, that's all for this episode of The Current. Thanks for watching! Hold on! We have one more thing for our viewers. Our very own Jockey Club Tea College Squid Game! Here's the game. If you had a chance to win guaranteed entry into a university in Hong Kong without having to take the DSE ever, would you take it? Whoa, definitely, but wait, what's the risk? If you lose and are caught, you're kicked out of secondary school for good. You're out of here. Really? Um, it depends on the odds. Did we have any takers? Yep, eight students. If they get past the vice principal and the discipline master, they win. If caught, Bye-bye!